know that there are more than 20,000 rivers in Belarus, and that the highest point of the country, which is Dzerzhinskaya Hora, has an elevation of just 345 meters above sea level? No? Then in the next 5 minutes, we'll help you to expand your knowledge about Belarus and, by the way, change your view about this country. Belarus is the biggest European country without access to the sea. And it's as big as Belgium, Switzerland and entire Greece all together. Quite often, Belarus is called the lungs of Europe. The reason is simple, almost 40% of the country is covered with forests. Moreover, there are marshlands stretching across the country for almost 1,700,000 hectares that annually absorb huge amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. 77% of Belarus's population resides in urban areas and only 23% in the countryside. Due to this fact, while traveling through the country, you can make a lot of miles, but still you'll not meet a single person. There are a lot of mineral deposits in Belarus. The largest ones are the Patar salt deposits. Near the town of Salihorsk, there is a place of extraction of those minerals, which is the largest in Europe and at the same time one of the largest in the world. Did you know that some time ago the Belarusian lands had a different name, Grand Dutch Lithuania Ritinian Samogitia, or just Lithuania? The population living in the territory of modern Belarus called themselves Lithuanians. Moreover, the old Belarusian language was an official language in Grand Duchy Lithuania for many centuries. Christmas in Belarus is celebrated twice. First are celebrating the Catholics, then the Orthodox. Both events are officially days off, which means that the winter holidays last for even two weeks. Belarus is the only country of former USSR which is still using Soviet symbols with just minor changes. It replaced the wide red white flag and chase emblem which were hovering over the country during the first years after becoming independent. You'll be surprised, but many Hollywood celebrities can be proud of their ancestors coming from Belarus. For example, Lisa Kudrow from the sitcom Friends, as well as Carla Johansson, Harrison Ford, Michael Douglas and Lewis Mayer, one of the founders of the famous metro Golden mayer Film Studio and Oscar Award. Many of you probably saw the famous Marc Chagall picture about the town. Well, Marc Chagall is also from Belarus, and in this picture, as in many other masterpieces of this painter, you can see the sights of his native city, Vitebsk. Perhaps you know that, among other scientific discoveries, thanks to the Belarusian body's kit and his rocket-propelling formula, it was possible to undergo first-ever travel to the Moon with a Apollo mission. But his kit was born in 1910 and celebrated his 106th birthday in 2016. Did you hear about a computer game called World of Tanks? And what about World of Warships? Or World of Warplanes? All these games were created in Belarus. The Belarusian national airline Belavia, showing its support to the local business, repainted even one of the planes with the colors of the World of Tanks game. Many of you are using the Viber app on your smartphones, and as you can probably guess, this application was created by Belarusian programmers. Being a programmer in Belarus, as well as in many other countries in the world, means having the best salary among many other jobs. Belarus has plenty of talented musicians. The representatives of this country triumphed twice in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest in 2005 and 2007. What's more, they can also be proud of winning Eurovision in 2009. The winner was the Belarusian Alexander Rybak, however, under the flag of Norway, where he's been living since he was a child. Nevertheless, the singer didn't forget his roots and is recording songs in the Belarusian language. The Belarusian Viktoria Zarenka has been one of the best tennis players in the world since 2008 winning the first position in the WTA ranking in 2012. Currently, the athlete is taking some time off, however, entire Belarus, as well as her true fans from all over the world, are looking forward to her big return. In 2014, Belarusian automobile plant Belaz produced the biggest dump truck in the world. The height of this vehicle is almost 9 meters and has a load capacity of up to 500 tons. However, don't be afraid of meeting such a truck on a usual road, because this giant can be seen only in quarries. In July 2016, coins have been introduced into the country for the first time in the modern history. Until now, the Belarusians used only paper money. New Belarusian rubles look a bit like euros, what concerns not only coins, but also the banknotes, which, among other things, are beautiful and have a great design. Therefore, it wasn't a surprise when the 100-ruble banknote was nominated for the Banknote of the Year 2016 award in an international competition. 
These were 20 facts about Belarus. Thanks for watching. We encourage you to share this video with your friends as well as tell us about your impression and knowledge of Belarus in the comments below.